Section 1 Introduction Video segmentation The process of dividing video content into segments based on object recognition plays a key role in various applications such as autonomous driving, robotics, and video editing. Despite notable advances in recent years, particularly through the use of deep neural networks, the current techniques often stumble when dealing with unfamiliar data, especially in zero-shot settings, situations where models have to handle videos or object categories that they weren't trained on. The commonly used methods in semi-supervised video object segmentation and video instance segmentation also suffer from performance issues when dealing with such data. One way to address this problem might be to adapt successful image segmentation models for video segmentation tasks. The Segment Anything model, or SAM, is a prime example of an effective model in the image segmentation field. SAM, trained on the massive SAW-1B dataset containing 11 million images and over 1 billion masks, has demonstrated impressive capabilities to generalize and adapt to unseen scenarios, and produce high-quality segmentation results. However, SAM, despite its effectiveness in image segmentation, is not inherently suitable for video segmentation. Efforts have been made to adapt SAM for video tasks by integrating it with other tools like XMEM or Dout, but these methods often lose some of SAM's original performance in zero-shot settings. Other methods, like SegGPT, which don't use SAM, can address several segmentation problems using visual prompts but still need mask annotation for the initial video frame. This issue is a significant obstacle in zero-shot video segmentation, as the goal is to create methods that can easily adapt to unseen scenarios and deliver high-quality segmentation consistently across varied video contexts. To tackle this challenge, we present SAM PT, Segment Anything Meets Point Tracking. This method is the first to combine sparse point tracking with SAM for video segmentation. Instead of relying on dense feature matching or mask propagation, we use a point-driven approach, leveraging the tracking of points using rich local structural information found within videos. This approach only needs sparse points annotation for the target object in the first frame and offers better generalization to unseen objects. It also maintains SAM's flexibility while effectively extending its capabilities to video segmentation. In SAM PT, we guide SAM with sparse point trajectories predicted by cutting-edge point trackers, such as PIPs, utilizing their adaptability for video segmentation. Our research shows that initializing tracking points using the centers of k metoids clusters from a mask label proved most effective for guiding SAM. We also track both positive and negative points, which helps distinguish target objects from their background. We further refine the output masks by proposing multiple mask decoding passes that incorporate both kinds of points. Moreover, we have developed a strategy to re-initialize points, which improves tracking accuracy over time by discarding unreliable or obscured points and adding new ones from parts of the object that become visible in later frames. Remarkably, our experiments indicate that SAM PT can match or surpass the performance of existing zero-shot methods on various video segmentation benchmarks, without needing any video segmentation data during training. This showcases the robustness and adaptability of our approach. We believe SAM Point has the potential to significantly advance progress in video segmentation tasks, particularly in zero-shot scenarios. Section Summary Video segmentation is crucial for various applications, but current methods struggle with unseen data, especially in zero-shot settings. To address this, we propose SAM PT, which combines the powerful image segmentation model SAM with sparse point tracking. By leveraging rich local structure information in videos, SAM PT achieves better generalization to unseen objects and outperforms existing methods on video segmentation benchmarks, without the need for video segmentation data during training. This approach has the potential to advance video segmentation in zero-shot scenarios. Section 2 Related Work In the realm of video segmentation, feature extraction and tracking methods have evolved significantly. Classic approaches like Lucas Kanade, Tomasi Kanade, Shi Tomasi, SIFT, and SURF, along with more recent ones such as LIFT, SuperPoint, and SuperGlue, have shown their effectiveness in identifying and following sparse features. However, these methods are somewhat limited as they focus only on specific, distinct interest points. They often falter when dealing with complex, non-static scenes. Methods based on flow, like raft, are good at following a multitude of points between successive frames. However, they have trouble when it comes to maintaining accuracy over extended point trajectories. Errors tend to pile up over time, leading to a drift in the tracking, and occlusions can cause the tracking process to fail completely. Recent advancements like TapNet, PIPs, OmniMotion, and Taper have made substantial progress in maintaining point tracking over a long period and through many video frames. They handle occlusions well most of the time, and they optimize the trajectories of points over the whole video. Our work takes these successful long-term point tracking methods a step further, 
using them to direct a flexible base model for image segmentation to take on video segmentation tasks. Regarding image segmentation, the Segment and Track Anything model, SAM, is a groundbreaking model trained on over a billion segmentation masks. It exhibits outstanding abilities in zero-shot generalization and can create high-quality masks from just a single foreground point. To enhance the quality of the masks even more, particularly for objects with complex structures, HQSAM extends SAM with a learnable high-quality output token. This token has proven to be efficient across various segmentation scenarios. But, SAM and HQSAM are not immediately applicable to video segmentation tasks. Some contemporary works have expanded upon SAM. For example, TAM and SAMTRACK merge SAM with top-notch mask trackers, like XMAM and DOUT, to perform interactive video object segmentation. They use SAM to initiate or correct masks, and they use XMEN, DOUT for tracking and predicting masks. Although these pre-trained mask trackers restore performance within distribution, they limit performance in zero-shot settings. Another model, per SAM, shows the ability to track multiple reference objects in a video. Unlike previous approaches that focus on interactive tracking or fine-tuning SAM, our focus is to learn robust associations for a wide range of objects in zero-shot settings. Section Summary Various classical and newer feature extraction and tracking methods have shown proficiency in identifying or tracking sparse features and establishing long-range correspondences, but they struggle with non-rigid, dynamic scenes. Flow-based methods excel in tracking dense points between frames but stumble with accurate long-range point trajectories due to error accumulation and occlusion. Recent advancements in long-term point tracking across video frames have been made, but our work is unique in integrating these methods to guide an image segmentation model for video segmentation tasks. On the other hand, SAM and HQSAM are innovative image segmentation models with zero-shot generalization abilities, but they cannot be directly used for video segmentation tasks. Previous works have extended SAM by combining it with state-of-the-art mask trackers, but this hinders performance in zero-shot settings. Instead, our focus is on learning robust associations for diverse objects in zero-shot scenarios. Section. Zero-shot VOS, VIS. Dot. In our discussion about zero-shot video object segmentation, VOS, and video instance segmentation, VIS, we explore various methods that don't utilize self-attention masks, SAMs. Among these, the Painter model and its extended version, SegGPT, are a type of universal model capable of addressing multiple image and segmentation problems. They make use of visual prompts much like other models, but their underlying structure is inherently different from SAM-based models. Despite Painter's broad usefulness, it doesn't perform as well in video segmentation tasks. However, SegGPT leverages in context prompting to attain comparable one-shot video object. Segmentation performance to ours, all without needing training on any video data. Notably though, the training domains used by SegGPT differ significantly from ours. Similarly, both the spatio-temporal context, STC, and Dino models don't employ video segmentation data during their training phase. In semi-supervised video object segmentation, these models use a reference mask, or template, and carry out feature matching on a frame-by-frame -frame basis, which allows them to apply this reference mask to the whole video. In contrast, our SAM PT, SAM with point tracking, model follows a substantially different approach. We opt for point tracking, and so avoid the need for frame-by-frame -frame feature matching. Furthermore, our method only needs a small number of points to represent the target object, instead of a complete reference mask leading to a superior performance on standard semi-supervised video object segmentation benchmarks. Our newly proposed model, SAM-PT, adapts SAM, which is fundamentally an image segmentation model, to handle video segmentation tasks in a zero-shot setting. SAM-PT combines the best features of leading point trackers like PIPs and TAPNET with SAM's powerful image segmentation capabilities, enabling us to track any object in a video. Before delving deeper into SAM-PT, we first provide a brief overview of SAM. The Segment Anything model, SAM, is a cutting-edge model for image segmentation, trained on a huge dataset named SA-1B. The SA-1B dataset contains an impressive 11 million images and over 1 billion masks, dwarfing any other segmentation dataset by around 400 times. This vast training set gives SAM remarkable capabilities in generalizing to new data without prior exposure or training, a concept known as zero-shot generalization. The SAM model has shown its proficiency in creating high-quality masks from a single foreground point. It also exhibits strong performance across a range of different tasks using prompt engineering in a zero-shot transfer protocol. Such tasks range from edge detection to object proposal generation and instance segmentation. SAM consists of three key components, an image encoder, 
a flexible prompt encoder, and a quick mask decoder. The image encoder uses a vision transformer, VIT, backbone to process high-resolution 1024 by 1024 images and produce a 64 by 64 spatial size image embedding. The prompt encoder accepts a variety of input prompts, including sparse ones like points, boxes, and text, or dense prompts such as masks, converting these prompts into C-dimensional tokens. The fast and lightweight mask decoder merges the image and prompt embeddings to predict segmentation masks in real time. This allows SAM to adapt quickly to diverse prompts with a minimum of computational overhead. Section Summary The paper introduces SAM-PT, a method that combines the strengths of existing point trackers with the image segmentation capabilities of SAM to address video segmentation tasks in a zero-shot setting. SAM The Segment Anything model is a vision foundation model trained on a large-scale dataset with impressive zero-shot generalization capabilities. It comprises an image encoder, a prompt encoder, and a mask decoder, allowing it to generate high-quality masks from sparse prompts and adapt to diverse prompts with minimal computational overhead. Section 3.2 R's, SAM-PT. Our methodology, termed Segment Anything Meets Point Tracking, SAM-PT, effectively extends the capacity of the Segment Anything model, SAM, to handle video segmentation tasks, despite its inherent limitations in this area. Notably, this robust approach to video segmentation does not require any prior training on video segmentation data. The SAM-PT method is primarily divided into four stages. 1. Selecting specific query points within the first video frame. 2. Propagating these points across all video frames using point tracking tools. 3. Utilizing SAM to generate individual segmentation masks for each frame based on the track points. 4. Optionally, restarting the process by selecting new query points from the predicted masks. Now. Let's delve deeper into these stages. 1. Query point selection. The initial step in this process involves defining query points within the first frame of the video. These points serve two main purposes. They either mark the object we're interested in, positive points, or identify the background and non-target objects, negative points. Users can either manually input these points or they can be generated from a pre-existing mask that defines the area of interest. For instance, during semi-supervised video object segmentation, the first frame where the object appears is often provided with a ground truth mask. We generate these query points from the ground truth masks using a variety of point sampling techniques, which take into account factors such as geometric location or dissimilar features. These techniques include random sampling. This straightforward method randomly selects query points from the ground truth mask. K-metoid sampling. Using the centers of clusters created through K-metoids clustering as query points, this technique ensures a comprehensive coverage of the object and resistance to noise and outliers. Shi Tomasi sampling. This method uses Shi Tomasi corner points, identified within the masked area of the image, as these have been proven effective for tracking. Mixed sampling. A combination of the above techniques, capitalizing on the unique strengths of each. While each method contributes unique characteristics influencing the model's performance, our experimental study reveals that K-metoid sampling yields the most effective results, providing comprehensive coverage of the various segments of the object. Shi Tomasi sampling also performs well, highlighting their respective strengths in this context. The selection and distribution of these points significantly influence the overall video segmentation performance, making the choice of optimal method a vital factor. Section Summary the SAM-PT approach extends the capabilities of SAM for video segmentation tasks by introducing four steps. Selecting query points in the first frame, propagating these points to all video frames using point trackers, using SAM to generate per-frame segmentation masks based on the propagated points, and optionally reinitializing the process by sampling query points from the predicted masks. Different point sampling techniques, such as random sampling, K-metoid sampling, Shi-Tomasi sampling, and mixed sampling, are used to derive query points from ground truth masks, with K-metoid sampling yielding the best results. Section 2. Point Tracking Our process consists of several steps, starting with point tracking. Initially, we make use of robust point trackers that take our query points and trace them throughout the frames in the video. This results in a series of point paths and occlusion scores. We use a cutting-edge point tracker called PIPS for this task because of its impressive capability to withstand challenges in long-term tracking including cases where an object gets blocked or re-emerges. Our experiments showed this technique to be more effective than others, like chained optical flow propagation or first-frame correspondences. Next, we carry out segmentation. The non-obstructed points in the predicted trajectories act as markers that indicate the location of the target object in the video. We use these points to guide SAM, a segmentation algorithm. 
This strategy, along with SAM's intrinsic ability to generalize, enables us to generate per-frame segmentation mask predictions. Contrary to traditional tracking techniques that need training or fine-tuning on video segmentation data, our method shines in zero-shot video segmentation tasks. In our approach, we make two passes with SAM using both positive and negative points. The first pass uses only positive points to establish the initial location of the object. In the second pass, we use both positive and negative points as well as the previous mask prediction. The negative points contribute to a more sophisticated distinction between the object and its surroundings, and they assist in correcting incorrectly segmented areas. We then execute a variable number of mask refinement iterations by repeating the second pass. This makes full use of SAM's ability to refine vague masks into more precise ones. Our findings reveal that this step significantly enhances video object segmentation performance. Our final stage involves point tracking reinitialization. Optionally, we can refresh our query points using the predicted masks once we have predicted a sequence of 8 frames. We refer to this variant as SAM PT Rhinet. Once this 8 frame horizon is reached, we take the last predicted mask and use it to sample new points. All the previous points are then discarded and replaced with these new ones. We then repeat steps 1 through 4 with the new points, starting from the time step where reinitialization occurs. We continue this iterative process until the entire video has been processed. This reinitialization procedure helps to improve tracking accuracy over time by eliminating points that have become unreliable or obscured, while including points from object segments that become visible later in the video. We also discuss other variants of reinitialization in our study. Section Summary The point tracking step involves using robust point trackers to propagate query points across all frames in the video, resulting in point trajectories and occlusion scores. The segmentation step utilizes the non-occluded points from the predicted trajectories to prompt a segmentation model, which outputs per-frame segmentation mask predictions without requiring training on video segmentation data. Additionally, a point tracking reinitialization process is optionally performed to enhance tracking accuracy over time by discarding unreliable or occluded points and incorporating points from later visible object segments. Section 3.3 SAM PT versus Object Centric Mask Propagation We've developed a new method for video object segmentation, which we've named Sparse Attention Mask Point Tracking, SAM PT. This approach differs significantly from traditional segmentation methods that often rely on dense object mask propagation. Traditional techniques generally propagate the ground truth, GT, label from the first frame of a video to the subsequent frames. They do this by using various methods such as feature matching with cached masks, frame-by-frame -frame feature matching, feature matching with the initial mask, optical flow, and more recently, in-context visual prompting. In contrast, SAM PT offers a unique method of video object segmentation, combining point. Tracking with our sparse attention mask, SAM. SAM has been specifically designed to operate on sparse point prompts. This point propagation strategy of SAM point has several notable advantages over the traditional methods of object tracking. Firstly, our point propagation makes use of local structure context, which doesn't rely on understanding the overall semantics of the object. This allows for a significant enhancement in zero-shot generalization capability, a strength that, combined with SAM's inherent ability to generalize, enables our model to track various objects in different settings, demonstrated in the UVO benchmark, for example. Secondly, SAM PT enables a more compact object representation through the use of sparse points. This captures enough detail to effectively characterize different parts or segments of the object. Lastly, SAM's design to operate on sparse point prompts is naturally compatible with our method. This provides a well-integrated solution that matches the inherent capabilities of the underlying model. When we compare SAM PT with traditional methods, our method performs better or at least as well as those that do not use video segmentation data during their training phase. However, a performance gap still exists between our method and those that make use of video segmentation training data, such as XMEM or DOUT. Beyond video object segmentation, the versatility of our point propagation strategy allows SAM PT to potentially be applied to other tasks, like video instance segmentation, VIS. To sum up, SAM PT introduces a pioneering approach to zero-shot video object segmentation. It combines sparse point propagation with the sparse attention mask, SAM, model for image segmentation. This provides a fresh perspective and adds a new dimension to the field of video object segmentation. Section Summary SAM PT is a novel approach to video object segmentation that combines sparse point tracking with the SAM model. Unlike traditional methods that rely on dense object mask propagation, SAM PT's point propagation strategy offers advantages such as zero-shot generalization, 
compact object representation, and compatibility with SAM. While SAM PT outperforms methods that don't use video segmentation data, there is still a performance gap compared to methods that leverage such data. Additionally, SAM Point has the potential to extend to other tasks like video instance segmentation. Overall, SAM PT introduces a fresh perspective and adds a new dimension to video object segmentation. Section 4.1 Datasets Let's delve into the datasets we employed in our research. We'll begin by discussing the datasets used for the video object segmentation task, then move on to the datasets related to the video instance segmentation task. 4.1.1 Video Object Segmentation Video Object Segmentation, or VOS, involves identifying and tracking a specific object throughout a video sequence. The primary type of VOS we're focusing on is semi-supervised VOS, also known as one-shot or semi-automatic VOS. Here, the object's initial position is given in the first frame of the video, and the challenge is to locate this object in the following frames. Instead of providing a full segmentation mask in the first frame, we might just give a bounding box or a set of points. We tested our method on four specific VOS datasets, namely Davis 2016, Davis 2017, YouTube VOS 2018, and Mose 2023. Davis 2016 is a benchmark for single object VOS and contains 20 extremely varied video sequences, all with carefully annotated segmentation masks. Davis 2017, on the other hand, extends upon the 2016 version by including multiple objects. It consists of 60 training videos and 30 validation videos, covering a total of 197 unique objects. Despite the limited number of video scenarios, they are very diverse. YouTube VOS 2018 is a large-scale dataset sourced from YouTube. It contains 3,471 training videos across 65 categories and 474 validation videos with an additional 26 new categories. The variety of categories and inclusion of both known and unknown classes allow for a thorough assessment of a model's ability to generalize. Lastly, MOS 2023 is a newly released dataset aimed at segmenting and tracking multiple objects in complex scenes. It includes challenging aspects such as brief visibility of objects, small or subtle entities, significant occlusions, and scenes with a high density of objects. It's crucial that each video in this dataset contains several objects with enough motion, ensuring the presence of occlusions and excluding objects that are stationary or move very little. Section Summary In this section, the authors provide an overview of the datasets used in their study. They focus on two tasks, Video Object Segmentation, VOS, and Video Instance Segmentation. For VOS, they evaluate their method on four datasets, Davis 2016, Davis 2017, YouTube VOS 2018, and Mose 2023. These datasets vary in terms of the number of objects, diversity of video scenarios, and the presence of challenges such as occlusions and high object density. Section, Metrics. We'll be discussing the metrics we use to evaluate our method, the tasks our model tackles, and the dataset we utilized in this study. To evaluate our model's performance, we utilize conventional metrics for video object segmentation, including the region similarity, J, contour accuracy, F, and the average of these two, J and F. Now, let's talk about one of the tasks our model performs, video instance segmentation. This. It's a fairly complex and less explored task that combines object detection, instance segmentation, and object tracking across multiple frames of a video. Essentially, the aim is to identify and segment each individual object throughout the entire video sequence. This task has started to garner more interest in the field recently. The dataset we use to evaluate our method is the Uvo version 1.0 dataset, specifically its dense video task. Let's get into a bit more detail about this dataset. The unidentified video objects, Uvo, dataset is designed to recognize and segment all objects, regardless of their categories. It even includes objects that were not seen during the training phase, making it particularly useful for VIS in an open-world setting. Each video in the UVO dataset contains an average of about 12.3 object annotations, a significant jump from previous datasets which had only 2 to 3 objects per video on average. It gets its videos from the Kinetics 400 dataset and is split into three different parts, frame set, video sparse set, and video dense set. We use the video dense set, which contains 3 second clips annotated densely at 30 frames per second and tracked over time. The primary goal of the video dense set is to examine video segmentation in an open world context. It is meticulously annotated, with objects that can be classified under the COCO categories maintaining their respective labels, while all other ambiguous objects or those not fitting into the COCO taxonomy are labeled as other. Due to its thorough and meticulous annotation structure, 
The video dense set is ideal for research in areas like robotics, autonomous driving, and augmented reality applications, where a dense and comprehensive understanding of videos is necessary. In addition to the previously mentioned metrics, we also evaluated our method using standard metrics from image instance segmentation, adapted for video instance segmentation. These metrics include average precision, AP, and average recall, AR, intersection over union, IOU, based metrics. However, there's a significant difference between image instance segmentation and video instance segmentation. The latter considers not just the spatial dimensions but also the temporal dimension. This means that the sum of intersections in every single frame is divided by the sum of unions in every single frame. These metrics are generally computed per category and subsequently averaged across all categories. In our case, though, we're working with the class agnostic version of UVO, which treats all instances as part of a single class. Section Summary In this section, the authors discuss the evaluation metrics used for video object segmentation, including region similarity, contour accuracy, and their average. They also introduce the concept of video instance segmentation, which combines object detection, instance segmentation, and object tracking in videos. The authors evaluate their method on the UVO version 1.0 dataset, which focuses on recognizing and segmenting all objects in an open-world setting. The dataset contains densely annotated videos and is ideal for research areas like robotics and augmented reality. The evaluation metrics for video instance segmentation involve computing IOU-based metrics in both spatial and temporal dimensions. Section, Training Data Let's talk about the training data we used for our study. We made use of pre-established checkpoints, provided by the authors of both PIPS and SAM. PIPS was trained solely on a made-up dataset named Flying Things Plus Plus, which is an extension of the Flying Things Optical Flow dataset. This dataset features multi-frame trajectories that involve objects that are obscured artificially by other moving objects. SAM, conversely, was trained on the SAW-1B dataset, which is currently the most comprehensive image segmentation dataset. It boasts more than 1 billion masks applied to 11 million licensed images that respect privacy. It's important to note that these datasets don't include video segmentation data, and none of them overlap with the data we used for evaluation. This means that we're effectively using our model in a scenario where it has no prior exposure to video segmentation, also known as a zero-shot video segmentation setting. Now, let's touch on the variations of our model. Our experiments led to the identification of two optimum sets of hyperparameters, labeled as SAMPT, without reinitialization, and SAMPT RINET, with reinitialization. These configurations were found as a result of an ablation study. However, we discovered that iterative refinement, or the process of repeatedly refining the model's output, actually had a detrimental effect on both SAMPT and SAMPT RINET when tested with the MOS dataset. This adverse effect was also observed for SAMPT RINET on the YouTube VOS dataset. Therefore, we decided to turn off iterative refinement for these particular datasets. For the Davis dataset, we experimented with replacing SAM with HQSAM and labeled these model variations as HQSAMPT and HQSAMPT RINET. Interestingly, the HQSAM versions used only three iterations of refinement instead of 12. When we evaluated our model on video object segmentation, VOS, we made use of the ground truth mask provided for the first frame of the video to identify the necessary query points for our method. Then, our model received only these sample points, not the actual mask, as input. We ensured that we used full resolution data across all datasets and resized it to match SAM's input resolution, which is the longest side measuring 1024 pixels. For the video instance segmentation, this, task, we made use of SAM's ability to automatically generate masks to come up with up to 100 mask proposals for the initial video frame. Then, these proposed masks were propagated throughout the entire video sequence with the help of our method. We also evaluated a concurrent method, TAM, in a similar way for comparison. Our current process for generating mask proposals is quite simple and does not create proposals for future frames in a video. As a result, it is unable to detect objects that appear later in the video, a disadvantage compared to VIS methods that can do this. However, despite this shortcoming, our method provides a consistent framework for comparing zero-shot methods in terms of their ability to propagate various mask proposals from the first video frame. Section Summary the training data for our experiments consists of pre-trained checkpoints from the authors of PIPS and SAM. PIPS is trained on a synthetic dataset called Flying Things Plus Plus, which includes multi-frame modal trajectories with synthetic occlusions. SAM, on the other hand, is trained on the SAW-1B dataset, which is the largest image segmentation dataset to date. 
Our model is positioned in a zero-shot video segmentation setting as these datasets do not include video segmentation data and do not overlap with our evaluation data. In terms of model variations, we found two optimal hyperparameters, SAMPT, without reinitialization, and SAMPT RINET, with reinitialization. However, iterative refinement negatively impacted both models on the MOS dataset and hindered SAMPT RINET on the YouTube VOS dataset, so it was deactivated for these specific datasets. For Davis, we also report results for replacing SAM with HQSAM, denoted as HQSAMPT and HQSAMPT RINET which use three iterative refinement iterations instead of 12. During VOS evaluation, we use the ground truth mask for the first frame to sample query points for our method. Only the sampled points are given as input, not the mask. For all datasets, we use full resolution data resized to 1024 on the longest side to match SAM's input resolution. During VIS evaluation, we generate up to 100 mask proposals for the initial frame using SAM's automatic mask generation capacity. These proposed masks are then propagated throughout the entire video sequence using our method. We evaluate TAM, a concurrent method, in the same manner. However, our mask proposal generation process is simplistic and does not create proposals for subsequent video frames, which puts it at a disadvantage compared to VIS methods that can identify objects emerging in later frames. Nonetheless, our approach provides a consistent platform for comparing zero-shot methods in terms of how effectively they propagate diverse mask proposals from the first frame. Section. 4.3 4.3 Ablation Study In section 4.3, we delve into an in-depth study that scrutinizes different aspects of our model, SAMPT. We ran a series of experiments on the Davis 2017 validation subset to understand better and validate the performance of various components and design elements of SAMPT. In all these tests, we used SAM's VIT-H as the underlying structure. We followed a step-by-step approach for these experiments, moving forward with the optimal settings we discovered from each preceding experiment. For the sake of rigorous and reliable statistical results, we repeated each experiment multiple times, between 4 and 12 times per setup. The results were then expressed as an average and standard deviation from these multiple runs. However, we do acknowledge that because of our small validation dataset, there might be a slight risk of overfitting. While we tried to keep our evaluation method consistent, we recommend that future studies use larger validation sets, such as the YouTube VOS 2018 training dataset. A key aspect of our model is query point sampling. The findings here show that the number of positive points and the methods we use to select these points play a crucial role in determining the model's performance. We found that using 8 points per mask significantly improved the model's performance by 40 points, compared to using just a single point. This strongly suggests that relying on a single positive point is not enough, as it often leads to only partial object segmentation. Among different point selection methods, K. Medoids and Shi Tomasi performed similarly but k metoids had a slight edge due to its slightly better average score and robustness with respect to the number of positive points per mask. Another important factor is point tracking. Our results indicate that PIPS outperforms other methods like TAPNET, Superglue, and RAFT. TAPNET was found lacking due to its ineffectiveness in maintaining consistency over time and because its training on lower resolution images hindered its performance with higher resolution ones. Superglue, although good at matching sparse features in rigid scenes, struggles with matching points in dynamic scenes, particularly when objects deform. Raft, being based on optical flow, had difficulties handling occlusions. While using PIPs as a default in our experiments might have given it a slight advantage, its superior performance can primarily be attributed to its more sturdy design that focuses on modeling trajectories over eight consecutive frames. This approach supports the creation of consistent point trajectories and improves the detection of occlusions. Section Summary In the ablation study, we tested different components and designs of SAMPT using SAM's VIT-H as the backbone. We found that using 8 points per mask instead of a single point significantly improved performance, and both K-Metoids and Shi-Tomasi point selection methods yielded comparable results. In terms of point tracking, PIPS outperformed TAPNET, Superglue, and RAFT due to its superior time consistency, robust design, and emphasis on trajectory modeling. Section. Negative points. The following passage discusses various elements of our research. Firstly, we observed that the inclusion of negative points had a substantial positive effect, particularly in minimizing segmentation errors when points deviated from the intended object. By introducing negative points, our SAM model was better equipped to manage scenarios where the point trackers failed, resulting in enhanced segmentation. This approach contributed to a 1.8-point improvement compared to when negative points were not used. 
It's important to note that in all our experiments, we consistently used a mixed point sampling method for gathering negative points. This essentially involves random sampling when there's only one negative point for each mask. Next, we looked at the method of iterative refinement. This process played a crucial role in producing higher quality masks and lessening the effects of anomalies in SAM's output. Our data shows that this method led to a 2.2 point increase compared to when we didn't refine iteratively. We then examined the concept of patch similarity. Initial observations suggested that using patch similarity to eliminate unreliable tracking points was too restrictive in our context and led to a significant loss of points. While this did not prove beneficial in our current setup, it certainly opens up avenues for further exploration, especially in situations where point reinitialization is involved. Regarding reinitialization, we analyzed the performance of various reinitialization variants. Our data indicate significant improvements of 2.5 and 2.0 points on the MOS and UVO benchmarks respectively. The process of reinitialization boosted the system's resilience against points dropping off objects. By reinitializing all points based on the current mask prediction, we were able to correct errors in point tracker outputs by discarding inaccurate points and starting anew from the existing mask prediction. This approach, however, assumes that we have confidence in the currently outputted mask, which might not always be accurate, leading occasionally to failures. To conclude, our most successful SAM PT model utilizes the K Metoids method for point selection with 8 points per mask, pips for point tracking, a single negative point for each mask, and uses 12 iterations for iterative refinement without patch similarity filtering. Furthermore, Using the reinitialization method showed optimal results with 12 refinement iterations and 72 negative points per mask. Section Summary Incorporating negative points in the segmentation process reduced errors when points deviated from the target object, leading to improved segmentation and a 1.8 point enhancement. The iterative refinement approach improved mask quality by mitigating artifacts and resulted in a 2.2 point improvement. Using patch similarity to filter unreliable tracking points was not beneficial in this context but it may be worth exploring in scenarios involving point reinitialization. Reinitialization enhanced robustness against points falling off objects, resulting in a 2.5 point improvement on MOS and a 2.0 point improvement on UVO benchmarks. Our best performing model employed K metoids for point selection, pips for point tracking, a single negative point per mask, and 12 iterations for iterative refinement without patch similarity filtering. Reinitialization achieved optimum performance with 12 refinement iterations and 72 negative points per mask. Section 4.4 Comparison with state-of-the-art methods Section 4.4 Comparison with leading techniques We used official tools and evaluation servers to compute all the results that we're going to present. This section details the outcomes from our video object segmentation trials, including some qualitative results gathered from unseen web videos. We'll also be going over the results from our video instance segmentation trials. Starting with the performance overview, our newly proposed method displays superior results compared to other techniques that haven't been trained on any video object segmentation data. This is demonstrated in the results obtained from the Davis 2017 dataset, where we achieved an average JNF score of 76.6 points. This score surpasses the per SAM F model by 4.7 points and edges out the SEG GPT generalist model by 1 point. To ensure robustness of our results, we ran the experiments eight times, presenting the average and standard deviation of our method's performance. Furthermore, our approach also outshines the PERSAM F on the YouTube VOS 2018 and MOS 2023 datasets, attaining mean scores of 67.0 and 41.0 respectively. However, when we use different mask training data, our method falls behind SEG GPT on these two datasets. Turning our focus to the qualitative analysis, we've managed to successfully apply video segmentation on the Davis 2017 dataset using our SAMPT and SAMPT RINET methods. What's particularly exciting is that we've also achieved successful video segmentation on previously unseen web videos. We used clips from the animated television series, Avatar, The Last Airbender, to demonstrate the zero-shot capabilities of our method. In terms of limitations and challenges, our method, while showing impressive zero-shot performance, still faces a few hurdles. The main issues stem from our point tracker's limitations in dealing with occlusion, small objects, motion blur, and re-identification. When these issues arise, the point tracker's errors can carry over into subsequent video frames. Some examples of these challenges can be seen on the Davis 2017 dataset and in additional cases with Avatar, The Last Airbender, Clips. Even though using point reinitialization and negative points can somewhat reduce the impact of these issues, they still hold back our method from matching the performance of methods that are trained on video data. Section Summary 
The proposed method outperforms other state-of-the-art methods in video object segmentation on the Davis 2017 dataset, achieving a mean J and F score of 76.6 points, which is 4.7 points higher than Persam F and 1 point higher than SEG GPT. However, the method falls short compared to SEG GPT on the YouTube Voss 2018 and Mose 2023 datasets. Despite its competitive performance, limitations exist due to the point tracker's difficulties in handling occlusion, small objects, motion blur, and re-identification. Section. Results and Analysis. The Results and Review. When. Examining the results, we find that our approach, SAMPT, performs considerably better than the alternative method, TAM, even though SAMPT was not developed using any data from video segmentation. TAM is a method that merges two techniques, SAM and XMEM. The XMEM component was initially trained on a dataset named BL30K and then further fine-tuned on two other datasets, Davis and YouTube Voss. However, it wasn't trained on the UVO dataset. Contrarily, our method, SAMPT, is a combination of SAM and another technique called PIPS, which is used for point tracking. A significant point to note here is that neither of these two components, SAM and PIPS, were trained specifically for tasks involving video segmentation. Section Summary the results and analysis show that SAMPT performs better than TAM, even though SAMPT was not trained on any video segmentation data. TAM, which combines SAM and XMEM, was pre-trained on BL30K and trained on Davis and YouTube Voss, but not on UVO. In contrast, SAMPT combines SAM with the PIPS point tracking method, both of which have not been trained on video segmentation tasks.